and in the sight of God, I crown you King of Wessex and Mercia. At the end of the last season, where we left Egbert was he'd just become King of Mercia and Wessex. So he'd acquired through foul means and through some luck as well, he acquired Mercia, much to the displeasure of King Ayla, who's now very threatened by his once ally, King Egbert. I suppose you should be congratulated, King Egbert. You have, by a clever ruse, become ruler of one of the biggest, richest kingdoms in England. At the beginning of this second half of the season, King Egbert, we discover, is actually now the king of England, basically. He's united all the kingdoms, he's usurped all the kingdoms, and his vision always was to be Brett Walder, the king of kings. And we learn that he's actually established that. I think I've used my power rather well. I like to think that how Egbert has developed, it, it is a moral journey, if you like, of what happens to an individual if you are totally invested in power and vision and you're driven, if you like, to fulfill your vision by any means. We have won a great victory in Mercia. God be praised. I mean, he'll stop at nothing. He'll use diplomacy, he'll you know, betray people, he'll lie, he'll cheat, he'll do whatever he needs to do. You are a monster! There are consequences for those actions, and I think for a long time Egbert was totally free of the consequences, but I think now, in this second part of the season, you're seeing a man who's actually wrestling with those choices. I must do something that I would not wish on anyone. I think Egbert kind of knows that there has to be at least one more confrontation with Ragnar and that there's no way he's going to leave what happened with the settlement, you know, unresolved. Tending to be dead. Oh. How like our Ragnar. I also think he wants that. He kind of thrives, if you like, off that challenge. And I think in Ragnar he met a true opponent, somebody he really respects. Uh, and I think that's why he's making sure he's very strong and ready for anything. What took you so long? Your father's return brings calamity, chaos, tragedy and death. 